Hi everyone. Uh, I've gotten hit up lately with uh, pretty much the same question over and over again, and I don't recall that I ever really addressed this issue. Um, some of you all are really scouring through my videos. I mean, really in great detail. And I, I, I must admit, I don't recall ever addressing this question here, and I apologize. I'm truly, truly sorry. Um, you know, there's a lot of information to try to remember to get across every time. But the question was, was uh, issues of polarity, you know, north versus south poles, uh, which poles were which. So the top of my stator here, and I'll show you here, put this over here. And here's a little guy here that tells you what field is which. Of course, the red points to north. And so... Let me zoom in on this a little bit. I want to zoom. There we go. Okay. So you see the reds pointing down. So that's north. Okay. So, and it's, the, the field is through the face of the magnet. I don't have any extra ones. I looked around where I could show you, but it's through the face of the magnet. Um, which means... This is the face. Let me zoom in even tighter now. I don't dare get my phone too close to these magnets. The face, this is the face. Instead of the polarities on the edge, it's on the face. And I'm just curious what these are here. I don't think you can... Uh... Yeah, those are north. And north as well. The other thing too is I want to show you something here while I'm at it. Um, the magnetic field is not on top of the magnet. It's a misnomer. People don't understand that. The field is actually out here on the edge, like that, around it. So watch this. See? Well, on top of the magnet, it shows, it points away from the magnet. See that? Is that a good angle to show you this? It's hard doing both of this camera and, and the test at the same time. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Do it around here this way. Okay, now we can see it. As you can see, the field is right here on the edge of the magnet, not on the middle. See, as I go to the middle, it points to the edge. Okay. All right, but that's basically it. Um, I don't have anything to report at this time. I've been dealing with some serious health issues with my feet, of all things. Um, I'm starting to be able to walk again now. Hopefully, I'm out, going to be out of the woods permanently here soon. Um, but this was no fun. So anyway, so there's nothing to report. This is just left over from something I was doing. I don't think I ever documented. Uh, it's not important because it doesn't work. I was just trying to understand some possibilities here. Um, when I stagger these off, so each one of these, one at a time, fires individually. Excuse the word fire, but it's the only other thing I can think of. For an analogy, um, like an eight-cylinder car, all eight cylinders don't fire at the exact same time. They're all offset from each other. This tries to run, but obviously I'm going to have to introduce, uh, uh, we call it magnetic shielding, if I'm going to really truly go down this road to get this to try to run. Also, to address another person here, um, I have no claims. You will not find any claims in any of my videos that says I have anything running. I don't know why some of you all make such a comment in my videos that that say that I am uh, defying the laws of physics and I already have this running. No, the only thing I ever make any claim was it was about Newton's third law of motion. Um, in that, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Um, I have made a few videos where I have defied that. Um, apparently, back when uh, Isaac Newton's law came into being. Uh, the high-tech knowledge that we have today didn't exist. Um, so, uh, but I do have videos just shows that I can overcome the equal and opposite reaction. Otherwise, if that was the case, this would not work. So, and to reiterate a little bit real quick here. Um, where is it? Right here. The action on the back of this magnet on this stator is basically zero. Let me turn this around. I already made a video about this again, so just 
click out of here if you have already seen this. Um, but as you can see, there's no magnetic field. We'll get a little closer. Here we go. See? None. Okay, now watch. Turns around. Oop, there you go. You see? So what I have here is that there's zero magnetic flux field on this side. And it's wide open on this side. You just can't see it. It's covered by aluminum foil. Okay? Okay? So that's how this works. So this side has zero magnetic flux attraction. This is wide open, 100% attraction so magnet to magnet attraction is far greater than magnet to steel because no matter how we slice it or dice it one thing is going to be for certain oh, let me get a well yeah this is a magnet this magnet is still going to be attracted to the back of this because it's metal watch see uh. See? Okay. Uh, mm. Yet, non-magnetic materials are not attracted to it. See? It doesn't do anything. So that's how I accomplish what I have done. This is my claim. Make one of these yourself. There's numerous videos that shows how this is made. So this is very simple, and it does what it, I say it does. Alrighty. I forgot to include some additional test in here about this stator here. Um, I want to show you here that if you watch this, this points to the front door. Let's see, can we see this or not? There we go. What it is is the magnetic field is in full force here, and the magnetic field here wraps around to about here, about one third. So it comes around like that. So if I put this screw here, way back here where there's no magnetic field, it's going to be pulled to the front door. Watch this. See? Okay. Try that again. Back here where there's no magnetic flux field. Let go of it. Here we go. See? The magnetic field is all right here up front. There's none back here. And as you can tell from a moment ago, I showed you all. Well, you can tell here there is none back here okay so and there's none up here it doesn't want to stick now when I get here it starts to kind of to stick just a little bit but it really wants there now now I can literally pick up the stator from here but I can't pick up the stator from here it doesn't stick anywhere but yet if I do this and let go of it watch what happens see it goes to the front where the flux is wrapping around. But this field is not so strong, though, to pick it up. It still can do this. But if I come around to the front, voila. Okay. So, and again, the, 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 face, the face of the uh, magnet is laying down, and the face up inside is uh, north, okay? So it means the underneath is south. Now, I didn't shield this very well underneath because it wasn't necessary. So let's see what it does. Yeah, you can pick this up easily like that, see? Okay. But you cannot do that on this side. Despite there's a magnet right underneath this, about that close to the surface. Hopefully that answers your all's questions. I don't really have anything else I can say right now. I need to get back off of my feet right away and uh, just continue to recover. Alrighty, again, thank you to all, and more so thank you to the donations that continue to come in from you all. I kindly appreciate your support and faith in what might be possible here. Take care.